In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove paint from a tumbler. Let's see which is the best method, easy off or acetone. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump into the materials that we will need for this project. Here are the canteens that desperately need to be refinished. First, you're going to wrap your canteen with a paper towel. Lay out a piece of an aluminum foil also. Then you're going to pour the 100% acetone to thoroughly soak the paper and then wrap the aluminum foil around it so you can keep all the moisture contained. Then just put it aside. I was trying to do about 10 minutes but then lost track of time so it ended up to be about 20 minutes. And now for prepping the second canteen, I'm going to use the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Because this is such a strong chemical, I decided to go outside and I put aluminum foil down just as a placemat. Shake the can very well and thoroughly spray it all over. In the directions, it said about 10 minutes. So I just left it outside until the timer was ready. Make sure whenever you're handling these chemicals, it's always best to have gloves. I had trouble finding some, that's why you see me with gloves and sometimes without. Bringing the second canteen bottle inside, I started to use the Barilla pad to help scrape the paint off. It was working, but it was so slow because it was just making these slice marks in. So then I decided to grab a razor blade and that worked a lot faster. It still took about 20 minutes to peel off what I could. And as I got down to the base, it was starting to get stiff. So I decided that I'd probably re-soak it again. So I put it off to the side. Question of the day. What is your preferred method for stripping paint? Please let me know in the comments below. Also a tip, I am so mad at myself that because I know better, but I was getting impatient when peeling with the paint. Don't go against the grain. I did some vertical scrapings and I scratched up the metal. So you can see over here that it the vertical line so as long as you keep going horizontal you'll be fine you won't notice anything then I grabbed the smaller canteen bottle and unwrapped it and all the paint basically just flaked off it was amazing it was I couldn't believe how easily the acetone worked I mean it is a different finish than the other canteen bottle but I'm just so happy that it worked well then with any other little bits, I just used some steel wool to scrape it off. And then I also had a little crease on the bottom, so I actually used a weeding tool that I had to get in there to scrape it all around. Since the acetone worked so well on the smaller canteen, I decided to try it with the larger canteen bottom since I was having difficulty. So there wasn't a huge difference between using the Easy Off and the Acetone for this bottle, but it did loosen the bottom, but it could just be that I hit it again with another removal paint, but definitely need to use the blade for this one to fully scrape everything off. Also, if you guys are finding this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. I am so happy at how it turned out. Um, the acetone seemed to work great on the smaller canteen and Easy Off and acetone was kind of the same on the other one. Either way, they both got the job done and I'm super pleased. Don't forget to watch the blooper at the end of the video and I'll see you guys next week. Um, both methods had its plus N.